Hey everybody, just doing a little bit of a table update today, um, just talking about what I'm up to. Um, working away on some of those miniatures that I showed in the past, Just um, these are just like unfinished business, little things that I've had on my table that I wanted to get done. But I also assembled the and prime the church that um, is the Perry Miniatures Plastic American Church. And I'm going to show that probably most for most of the video, but before I do, I will just... Um, just show a little bit what I'm doing. Yeah, I've just started layering some base paint down. I've got um, my limber here that I'm working on. I have my um, artillery cr crew for the French. And um, I also am doing two British Grenaders. They're just um, ones that are similar to the ones that I have that I just wanted to add to that unit. And then, of course, I've got Deadpool, which I've um, talked about. Now, I've just got base paint kind of going down on these so um, I still have a ways to go um, I've just really just gotten started on all of these um, yeah um, one thing I, I do have is a little bit of a question for somebody that might know out there I noticed with um, my artillery crew that underneath their gunpowder box their powder box there's this thing that hangs below it now I've really tried to look at uniforms and things to determine what this is. I don't. None of my other miniatures have this. Now, I had noticed. I believe all four of my artillery crew have this underneath, and I did look on and find some gunners for the French in the Seven Years' War because these are our Seven Years' War miniatures, French, um, that had this, and but it didn't really say what it was. It was. A little smaller looking this, it was sort of like string on both sides with sort of like a pouch underneath. And so it's not, I thought at first it could possibly be a water can of some kind, but I believe it's specific to the artillery. It's just I found a real hard time figuring out exactly what it was. And I do believe it hangs on a string uh, below this. So if anybody knows what that is, I'd appreciate uh, you letting me know. Um, because I, I know that one thing I should say is that I've seen folks painting it gold uh, with white strings on each side. And so I'm not sure if it's a little bag um, or, or what it is. Um, I, I don't think it's metallic. I think it's a little bag with strings on both sides. I wasn't sure if it was like a fuse holder, like something that, because it literally the only person on a uniform plate that I saw that had it was listed as a gunner among the artillery French crew. So the actual um, crewman didn't have it and the officer didn't have it, but the gunner did. That's why I thought maybe it could possibly be there to hold fuses or something. But now all four of these guys actually have it. So I thought that was interesting. Um, I'll just show the um, church. This is kind of interesting too because, let's see if I pull back here a little bit. This church, it's a plastic kit. Um, it's been around for a while, so it's nothing new. Um, so I'm not doing like a formal review on it, but as far as I can tell, it's meant to be completely enclosed and not opened, like with the roof not coming off. And the reason I say that is this front piece was actually mold part of the mold of the front piece here. So if you actually attached the rest of this, and I don't actually have, this piece is still loose because I'm going to be painting up the bell and stuff before I close it off. But if you actually attach all this the way you're supposed to, it'll attach to the roof, which will attach to the front, which means you can't take the roof off. Um, also, I put it on a, an MDF base that I made. It didn't come with a base. So it doesn't come with a floor, and it is completely enclosed. And that's the way the kit's provided. Um, what I ended up doing, because I saw this on, from somebody's blog like a while back that you know was a war gamer that also wanted to be able to open up the church like I did, um, is I just took a razor saw and cut the front panel off of this front molded piece. And that allowed me to then um, treat it as its own sort of structure on the top. And so now I can actually, there we go. It's my little roof there. I can actually um, remove it. Now, 
you can see I just sort of cut that off from this piece right here. Now it does have molding on the inside here to allow you to fit this on properly. Um, these little dots I actually removed on the inside down here. Um, I just basically took a Dremel. There were just these injection mold dots all over the place on the inside because like I said I don't think they intended anybody to use this as something where you would operate on the inside with your miniatures. But for most of my games I want to be able to open it up and have guys go inside, shoot out the windows and stuff, and so um, it's a pretty easy conversion. Um, the hardest part of it was the assembly of the tower on the roof and gluing the roof to then have it come off. Um, I think part of that is it would have been easier if this was fixed because it would have been something to actually hold on to and then you'd glue the roof and everything would be steady. I was kind of working with a lot of moving pieces um, to get this to work like this. But I think it worked out pretty good. Um, I'm not complaining. Um, I really like the look of this church. There are a lot of... I've been doing a lot of um, MDF kits. I'm just going to pull back a little bit here. I've been doing a lot of MDF kits, as you guys know, for a while now. So there's a lot of sorts of precision kits. And um, in some ways, because I really like... I do like the... MDF kits, um, I've kind of forgotten how much I like injection molded plastic kits like for terrain. Um, because the MDF really laser cutting has opened up a lot of designs for wargaming. So like we have a lot more terrain out there to choose from I think than we used to. But the one thing that it does lack is um, the soft detail and like the, um, the sculpted detail that you can get on a kit like this. Um, like just as an example just the stone here like you really couldn't easily get that um, like you could get it to be rounded but it'll be still like a flat ledge it won't have that sort of a regular look of stone and even just the, the texturing of the shingles you know you could really you don't get those with the MDF kits like you just get shingles that are just sculpted in by a laser but it's all flat and so it's nice it's a nice change like even the the sidewalls of this. So I think it's a really nice looking kit. Um, I suppose as should be expected for anything that's made by the Perrys, you know. Um, it's been around for a bit, but I, when thinking about it, a little church, like a country church for my French Indian War or American War of Independence stuff, um, when I was looking around I just sort of saw this and I said, yeah, like this, this is the one I think that I want. Um, and after doing the little conversion I think that it's going to work out really good. Now what I'm going to do is um, I am going to put a floor in. I think I'm just going to do like I did for my cabin, the popsicle sticks and um, and have like a wood floor with popsicle sticks in there. And I created, I made the base really really small. It also comes with some fencing which is nice, some picket fences and some a couple of gravestones. But I have a couple of sprues of gravestones. I'm going to make um, sort of similar to this, I'm going to actually just make some plots of actual gravestones that I can just put on my board. So you could have a little cemetery either in the middle of nowhere, you know, just sort of uh, along the side of a road, or you could have it, you know, like traditionally where the church is. So, uh, yeah. So that's about it. Um, I've been playing a lot of Zombicide. I'm really enjoying it. I've been playing that with, with my kids, and my wife has played too a bit. And um, just a little bit, but <laughs> she's joined in as well. And like, we're actually going to be playing a game tonight. And, um, it's been a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it. The kids really like it. Um, I'll talk about the zombie side a little bit more. Maybe I'll do a video tomorrow on that. And I'll just talk about how that's going and some more specifics on it. But, um, but yeah, that's been a, um, really fun for gaming. So, besides that, um, not a whole lot else going on, and I will talk to you later.